Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T, and I'm here, y'all, to do a unboxing and first impressions of these Art Pop Fineliner pens, 96 colors. This was sent to me by the lovely people over at Art Pop, and they um, said I could share these with you guys on my channel and then give an honest um, first impressions about these Fineliner pens. 96 colors, guys. It says Premium Plus Vibrant Colors with a 0.4 millimeter fine tip, and they are quick dry. It comes in a tin case. I've not opened it yet. I haven't even taken off the plastic wrap. Um, as you can see, they are numbered and the colors are listed for each pen. Again, you get a metal casing for long lasting ink, triangular barrel for precise, comfortable grip, quick drying water based ink. And they're also um, basically stating that the color of the top coincides with the color at the bottom and it's good for quickly matching your color caps to your end, okay? So let's go ahead and open these up. You have this nice tin case it comes in. Sorry if you don't like this noise. Some people like it. <laughs> We're going to take a look. We're going to take a look at these pens. Let's open it up. It's not hinged, so as you can see, it does come right off. And these are the Art Pop pens. Oh, wow, they're locked into this thing. Oh wow, they're nice. They're nice and secure. This is a case you could probably keep these in because if I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something out, guys. I don't normally do this, but let's make sure they're all in their little respective cubby holes. <laughs> and they are. Look at this, guys. You can do this, and they don't even come out. Yes, that is so nice. I'm keeping them in here. <laughs> As you guys can see, if you have not already seen. These are black pens. The barrel is black. Let me move this. The barrel is black. All right, you have a point. It says Fileander 0 0.40. And the color number is there. So this is color number 95. Now, the back of the 10 lists the number and the color name. Um, so we're going to go ahead and swatch these. And I did not list the color names. I just did the numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch these. You get uh, 96 again, it's one. Let me move these in. Very nice case, very nice quality case. Two, three, four. Four rows and a beautiful case to keep them in. Very nice colors, nice variety of colors. Look at the blues, isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those colors. Very nice array of colors. Very nice. All right, so I'm going to swatch these and I'm not gonna do uh, you know, like uh, lots of crazy swatching with these. Um, just wanna see what the color looks like. And then I'm going to color um, a part of a page in a secret garden where most of us would probably use fine liners, um, which would be in a book like uh, Secret Garden um, or anything with any intricate types of pictures in it. So I'm going to move this out the way and I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to swatch and I hope you enjoy the music.
So I am done swatching these colors. I'm going to bring this up a bit because I didn't zoom in so close, but um, look at the beautiful colors that come in this set. I'm really liking the warm grays in this section here. And of course the pink, you guys, I love pink. Um, there are some colors that were so light that you could really barely see them. So I'm not really sure what you would use those for. Um, I didn't test on black paper because I don't think they'll show up on black paper. Uh, but, you know, that's something I can test later and make a note of um, in the future. But number 65 is so light you can barely see it. But so far, so good. I like the way the pens fill in your hand. They're, um, again, the triangular barrel, so they're ergonomically um, shaped so that they're comfortable in your hand. So now what I'm going to do is uh, do some coloring with them. So let me go ahead and close that, put that away. Actually, leave it open because I'm gonna use a swatch sheet. <laughs> so let's see. I'm gonna leave that right open. And we're gonna um, use this. Now, another color that I really, really loved when I put it down on the paper are these earth tones here. And I was like, these would make some really fall, really nice fall coloring. Um, I'm sorry, these would make some really nice colors for fall coloring, as well as these here, these warm colors. So we'll see what we're gonna do. All right, so I picked up the Secret Garden Coloring Book. Most of us know this coloring book by Joanna Basford. Many people use fine liners in these books because she has a lot of intricate areas in her um, in her uh, pages. So I'm gonna focus on a little section over here. I'm not gonna color the whole picture, but I'm going to color some of these leaves and a few flowers just so that we can get an idea of how this uh, how these pens work on this paper. So I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, uh, I'm gonna even try doing a little bit of blending with them. I just wanna see how they work, how well they work with that. All right, so um, when I come back, this is gonna be some a silent <laughs> coloring. When I come back, I will explain to you um, what I experienced coloring with them and how well I like them. Enjoy the music.
white. So I'm done coloring and I want to just say that um, I did enjoy coloring with these on this page, but you know, with things this intricate, it can be pretty um, hard to color. Um, I don't really like intricate things like this, but I can say that using these pens on this paper was nice. I did have some issues where if you try to go over it a, a second time, the paper kind of wants to uh, come up with it or, you know, um, scratch off with the pen tip. So, you, you know, with these, it wouldn't be a good idea to go over things constantly, you know, more than one layer because you're going to have it where the paper is going to start coming up with the pen. Um, also, blending, not so much. If you lay a light color and then like, put, you know, like edge it with another color, that could that could work. But I did try blending in this area. And again, I had the issue with the paper um, ruffling up. But these pens are not intended for like using light colored pencils. They're intended to use as a fine liner, uh, writing pens, journaling, things like that. You can use them in these books. And as you can see, if you straight color one layer, you can actually come out with a really nice picture. I just want to say thank you to Art Pop for sending me these pens. Um, again, there are 96 pens in this set, beautiful colors, and um, I hope that you all have enjoyed the video. Until next time, y'all, take care.